Citizens of the world, welcome back to Timberborn. Today I am Beaver Zack, that sounds weird, but I've got a tail because Timberborn is a city builder all about beavers. Now, we have been sponsored to check out the game today because it's an early access and it's just received its first major update and it's on sale. So you can check the game out on Steam, links down below. And you know what, let's... We, we all like Timberborn. We've played Timberborn before, we've enjoyed it. Let's encounter this new update. Ah. Oh. Do you like my tail? I like my tail. I think it's a very functional tail. Especially for today's stream, where we have to dam some rivers, build some wood things at... We're gonna try our best to not die, which I think is very important in this game. Anyway, let's go ahead and click on New Game. There are still two different factions. We need to reach average well-being of 11 to unlock the Iron Teeth. Uh, but we have the Folk Tales. Easy going but hard working. Folk tales are expert farmers, they respect nature and it rewards them with plentiful bounties. Their motto, comfort, food, and sturdy wood. Next. Okay, now I've had a look through a lot of these types of maps and I'm actually a big fan of terraces just because of the way they look. Let's go with that. Now, difficulty. Last time we we kind of got wrecked. I remember getting wrecked last time. So I think we might want to stick on normal, not go up to hard. Droughts are severe and become even worse over time. Yeah, droughts are milder in the beginning but intensify over time. I think we stick to normal. There is custom, which is great. You can customize all of this stuff. Drought duration, handicap. It's always really good when there's uh, customizable difficulty levels because Difficulty options are accessibility options. Very important. Let's start a normal game. By the way, the artwork they've been doing for this game has been really nice. It's it's very cozy, woody looking. It, I like it. I like it. Oh. By the way, this tale can do some tricks. Check it out. That's totally normal. That That's exactly what a beaver tail does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. I'm 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 just trying to have some fun. What would you like to call your settlement? It is, of course, Dwellmend. We live in Dwellmend. Okay, now, spacebar does pause the game. Have a look at this map for terraces. Ah. Oh, there's like waterfalls. We've got all this high ground, low ground. Uh, we're on the highest of grounds, I think, or at least close to the highest, and it's right in the middle. Now, I've, I'm not super experienced at this game, but it's got, I think, very positive reviews. Is it overwhelmingly positive reviews? People are loving Timberborn. The UI has definitely been updated. This, this looks nicer. Um, I've turned off any camera limitations, so we can just go wherever we want, but... Because I just want to control exactly how we're looking at things. Uh, I mean, it looks good, right? Yeah, I like it. Anyway, behind me and my tail here is the tutorial, which will get us um, sort of going on things. Uh, this tutorial will help you with the basics of a beaver settlement. So we got to start wood collection, lumberjack flag. There's these, uh, excuse me, there we go. There's this range, so let's just keep the lumberjack flags in range of all of these trees here. And we need two of these, so let's get two of those. Unpause the game. And we gotta connect, uh, we gotta build them. So the beavers are now gonna come on over. And build the lumberjack flags. These are collection things. This is normal difficulty, because last time we got wrecked. <laughs> so, so here's the water source. So water is actually flowing down this river here up until this waterfall there. Now, the major update has a number of 
improvements and changes to water stuff. I think the water mechanics have been tweaked and stuff like that. And one of the best things about this game is the water does actually have, like, dynamics, right? So if you, for example, cut the ground here, the water will flow into this hole. That's actually really important in a beaver city builder, isn't it? Let's connect this to our base. There we go. Then we need to mark trees for cutting. Yeah, just cut all the trees on the low, low ground. Yes. Yeah, work with those first. Oh, so there is a ramp here, a slope. So I think I will just, uh, before I forget it, mark that out. Okay, that's where that's going. Okay, so they're going to start cutting. Uh, now we need to build a water pump. Okay, so water pump. Uh, closest water is right here. Uh, I'm going to line it up like that. So we're going to put that there. And connect it to the path. And now they should cut trees. Bring the lumber back and then deliver the lumber to the water pump which requires 12 logs okay here they come i love their voices <laughs> uh, i'm having fun ah <laughs> uh. Don't you love it when you have fun with video games? What a revolutionary idea. It's crazy, right? Anyway, we can speed up the game while we get this water pump built. By the way, beavers do need to sleep and they stop working at night. So, you know, that things will take its time. Come on, two more logs. Here they come. And then built. Water pump done. Great. Now we need to build a gatherer flag for all of these berries. So let's go food, gather a flag, make sure it's all uh, in range. Let's do that. Just one gather a flag. Connect that up to the path. Look at this. We're actually trying to be a little bit organized, keeping these roads straight and stuff. Uh, but it's nighttime, so... Beavers are all just going to chill out. <laughs> and they, they, they're going to chill for the night. They're going to chill for the night. So we have a source of water. Now, if I recall correctly, last time, I can't remember whether we died to disease or thirst. I think it was thirst. I think a drought hit and we had no water stored. I was about to store water, but then we didn't. <laughs> All right, building the gatherer flag so we can grab some berries. Uh, this current district center, we start with 108 berries, so that should keep people fed. Okay. Now, build a farmhouse. Let's go to food, farmhouse. Let's build it here along the road. I guess it doesn't matter too much, right? Yeah, just build it here along the road. Uh, I will prioritize that. 25 wood. But also, underwater, small water tank. I remember I waited way too long. And generally in games, I wait way too long to build water tanks. So I'm going to build a small water tank right here. Okay. All right, so here we go. Building this farmhouse, 25 logs. It's going to take a while. So we are, yeah, we're going to prioritize. I don't know, should I, should I prioritize a small water tank first? Or can we turn off things so there's more workers? 
how's how's everyone's thirst? Oh, it's pretty food. Where's the good uh -huh, prioritize? How do you disable a building? That's actually some. Oh, there we go. There's a pause button right there. You can pause that so there's one extra worker, and that should help. I think. I'm trying to study how these beavers use these lumber posts. So, each one of these has one worker. Do I need a third one? Anna, we're going through the forest pretty quickly, aren't we? Maybe I should just speed up the game and let that let things take its course. There we go. Doesn't take too long. Yeah, people are getting very well, the beavers are getting thirsty. We need to store up some water, I think. Okay. Farmhouse is down. That's taking two workers there. So now we need to plant 70 carrots. Uh so let's how much is 70? That's 58. 66. Okay, 70. Planted 70 carrots. We should probably resume on the gathering thing. Uh, small water tank is going down. This is prioritized. I want that next before anything else. Now, while all the buildings you place have some storage, they will fill up quickly. Build a log pile to store logs, small water tanks to store water, uh, and small warehouse to store berries and other resources. So, small water tanks. We need three. Okay. The tutorial has got us covered. Uh, we want small water tanks. Three of these. So, one, two. Can I just have it here? Like, efficient placing. Make sure that's connected. Three water tanks right next to the water collector. Then we'll want a wood... No, storage. Log pile. Yeah, I think this is slightly more efficient. Let's have the log pile there. Right. These all... Uh, oh no, the log pile doesn't cost anything. These cost 15 each. Okay, but only one is... Yeah, only one's prioritized. Let's just make sure that's done first. Uh, and then we need a warehouse. So storage. Small warehouse. Near where the berries are. I guess it makes sense if it's here, right? Let's put it here. Okay. That looks good. Planting lots of carrots there. Let's speed through the night. Okay. Ah, I love watching them all like wake up and then they start moving. <laughs> uh. Efficient placing would be having the pump, one on either side, making room for another pump instead. Oh, having one... Oh, yeah, there is one more spot there. Yeah, that, that, that that's actually a good idea. I might change it later. Let's plant some carrots. Tedar. Okay, so, so far everything on our little plateau here is going well. Um, how do we, how do we scale down cliffs? <laughs> there, there might, we might need a technology to leave this plateau. Because sometimes there's just like a little ramp there and it works fine by itself, but um, I, th I think we need a technology to make our way down. Um, 
So probably, yeah, but there's, there's all these platforms, wooden stairs. We could probably just build stairs down, right? But yeah, we need to unlock stairs. These beavers don't even know how to damn things yet. Okay, so the log pile, uh, what do we... Yeah, we're getting this up first. And then we want to prioritize the log pile and the warehouse. Then these small water tanks are less of a priority. Okay, so this small water tank, capacity of 30. Ah, oh, there we go. Storing up the water. So, this tutorial is already better than the last time I played because I died last time on the first drought because we didn't have any water storage. As far as I can remember, anyway. This one, straight up, it says build three water tanks. Just just do it now. Uh, good idea. Look at that. Nice and stored. Okay, so log storage is also set up. This takes 15 logs. With the buildings closer to the source of wood. Oh, we're already halfway through this section of trees. Okay. They do grow back though. Just gotta be careful. I don't think you can fully deforest things, right? Oh mighty forest, how I pine for thee. Unknown beaver poet. <laughs> we can hide the description. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this... What does this symbol mean? Oh, this is down. Small warehouse. Do we just let it hold everything? I guess so, right? Yeah, it's fine. The symbol's gone. Oh, it was full? What is, what's the percentage? 47%, percent, 0.33 hours, one water. Basic need, thirst. Okay, focus building that one, then this one. Because the others are done. Okay. Everyone chill for the night. So, these starting goods are going down. 70 berries there. Might make more sense to put one of the water storages closer to the middle of town. But I guess if they're thirsty, they can make their way here. It's fine, right? Yeah, it should be fine. I like these lines when you select the building. It does indicate this is traversable. This ramp here works fine. Otherwise, you're not too sure if it does. You can absolutely deforest. Oh, I see. Well, they seem to be ignoring the seedlings. But I guess if you... What are these markings? Pine resin. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's different types of pine trees here. There's pine resin. On some of these. Okay. I think it's fine because we do have pine resin up here. Okay, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Should be okay. Another water tank down. Okay, we seem to be producing quite a lot of wood per day. Because we built, like, this storage and these in one day. Carrots seem to be doing well. They're about 50% progress. Yeah, I think that, that symbol means it's full. Okay. Continue. 
Homes increase your beaver's well-being and allows your folktale population to grow. Build enough lodges to house all your beavers. Beavers will not reproduce unless there are empty slots for kits. Okay. Housing. Lodge, lodge mirrored. Right. They're specific. So what we want to do is... I suppose we have the houses round the back. On this unfertile terrain here. Yeah, I think something along here. Maybe not too far. How do I want to do it? So we're going to do one. We need six, right? Yeah. Could do something weird like this. You know, that's actually kind of cool. See what I can. <laughs> Just gonna do this. Get the mirrored one. I mean, later on when you have stairs and stuff, you can do some. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I just don't. I don't want to do a rectangle. I think. I think that that's that's all I. Just don't want a rectangle. I'm make, gonna make, do something weird like this. Right, I'm just gonna do that because it's different. It's just different. I, 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 every time you play these games, it's like, oh, build six, three, three. Do something weird. And then you'll end up with something a bit more interesting. I just do it random like that. It's fine. Uh, it look it looks more like a home, right? This little cul-de-sac sort of thing, <laughs> right? Looks like an old town, right? It's just it's good. There we go. Build near the cliff. No, that's where decorations are going. <laughs> Right? Medieval roads. Okay, water storage is looking nice. So the resin trees actually glow a little yellow. Okay. So how much wood do we have stored here? 15. Not a ton of wood. These each take 12 each. Yeah, that's quite a lot. But we got to get everyone homes. We're just a colony of homeless beavers right now. Maybe I should... deselect this area. Maybe it will help manage the trees a little bit better. Let these grow up properly first. Because deforestation, when you're a beaver civilization, it's an important, uh, it's an important topic. They won't cut down seedlings. Yeah, I'm just worried new seedlings don't show up. It died. Oh, okay, yeah, makes sense. Like, as soon as it becomes a big pine, they cut it down. So then, do new seedlings sprout? I don't know. Oh, I see MB Prune. Thank you so much. They won't because of tree stumps. Right. But it takes ages to remove them. Right. And we got two lodges. Nice. Nice little things. When you click on a building that's being constructed, it shows the ghost of all buildings being constructed. That's ah, that's that's actually a nice feature there. Like clicking on things just 
don't know. I, I remember being more confused with this game. They, I think they've really improved the UI. So it's more visually explaining what's actually going on. Right? Might be an old feature. But if it's an old feature, still good. <laughs> I'm just making a note of it now. Uh, it, it's hard to remember when you play so many games. And then an update happens. Um, what's new and what's old when it's been like a couple months since you last played. Six. Okay, so just need to get these lodges down. Okay, now not everyone has to sleep on the streets. Nine. Nine beavers can stay in their lodges. We should be able to finish the rest. We just need 24 wood here. Basic needs sleep, basic needs shelter. Berries. Oh, we're harvesting carrots. I, I see carrots. Oh, we are harvesting some carrots. Oh, look at that. They're just popping out of the ground. It's watered and alive. Ah, nice. So that should solve them. Um, or keep our food problem at bay. I feel like this warehouse needs to be able to hold more carrots. Oh, this is desired, I see. Not capacity, it's stock desired. So if we just leave it at 10, it's fine. They can just load it in anyway, I think. Harvesting. Yeah, should be okay. Should be okay. Okay, last lodge is going down. All our beavers are homed. The small water tanks look nice and full. Plenty of water for the beavers to drink. Can we finish this? Ah, uh, no. Okay. One more night and there's some homeless beavers. It's fine. Uh, wait, we have 11 adults. Wait, no. Everyone has a home. We've only got 11 adults. It's just a little crowded in one house. <laughs> the lights come on when they go inside. <laughs> it's nice. Look at this little housing area here. I like it. I like how that turned out. That turned out better than I thought. Ugh. Okay, we've got six lodges. Science points are used to unlock more advanced buildings. An inventor will produce science points over time. Yes, then we can unlock stairs. Inventor. Let's just pop you right here. This is 12, yeah. Uh, we have one child. Oh, I see. We did start with a number of children. They've all grown up. And then, ah. Uh, Shaktila was just born. Our beavers grow. <laughs> okay. That's good. We need to research stairs. Mainly because we need to go up in terms of our buildings and down in terms of cliffs. 
Uh, cause if we're running out of, I don't know if you can just build stairs like straight down here and then chop down these trees or something. If you try scrap metal in these ruins here. Cause we're kind of... Kind of finish this. Uh, we're gonna need to chop down more trees. The beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well being. High score five. Okay, we need to cut some trees up here. So we get the inventor going. Now let these trees grow, but then. I'm actually kind of scared of running out of trees right now. We don't have a massive forest to work with. Forester. Plants trees and bushes. Maybe we should focus on this. I, th I think we should focus on maybe getting a forester down. Tapper's shack. That sounds like a pub. <laughs> so I think maybe we focus on forest. That's 60 science points. Oh, stairs are actually more expensive. So yeah, I think I think we get forest at first because if we run out of wood, well, what's a beaver to do? You're going to need platforms in most places to put stairs on most cliffs. Each stair can only go up and down one. So you'll need like stair, platform, stair, platform, stair, platform. Maybe that'll work. Well, we have an inventor. 3.1 an hour. No, 3.1 hours equals three science points. So it's basically one science points per hour. Right? Population well-being. So we could give them grilled potatoes and they'll be happier. Carousel. Shrine. Temple. Flame of... Oh, there's an awe thing. Flame of progress. Aesthetics. Beaver statue. Roof. Shrub. Shrub. Hmm. Okay. We gotta unlock a shrub. <laughs> Alright, so we need we're now accumulating science points. We can now start producing more advanced resources, but some buildings require power to do so. Build a water wheel by the shore on the river. It is dependent on the water flow, so it will stop producing energy when there is no water. So that's under power. Water wheel. Okay, hold on. You build it by the shore. By the shore on the river. I guess this direction doesn't matter, right? I mean... Oh, in, oh wait, wait, wait. I, I, I was missing its width. It's two tiles. I see. Okay. I was like, why isn't this working? It's in the river. Okay. I love how you can just build it here. Because you could later then maybe flow water there if you so desire. Okay. So I think this is correct spot to put it. Makes more sense if it's there. Yes. Yeah, this, this cliff here being higher is throwing me off. But I think that's correct, yeah. There. 50 logs. Okay. I mean... These trees are growing back, but then... Okay. 
We'll, we'll see how much this area reforests. I'm just really scared about running out of wood. That seems like one of the biggest dangers right now. So it's three people per house. Well, two people per house is the goal. Oh, two, two beavers were just born. So we've got six, that's 12. So we actually need another house soon. But this is gonna be the priority. And then I will plan one more house. How's housing, housing. That one. Hmm. I leave a gap. I think that's how we do it. One more house here. Yeah. Keeping it natural, then we can have a path or maybe a bit of a garden there. I don't know. Something. Now, 50 wood. That's a lot. That's going to take a while to do. It'll allow us uh, science points. I mean, with three an hour, we're not getting a ton of science points. I feel like I should build another inventor. Maybe when some of these kids grow up. Do we have enough? Oh, these... These don't reach up there? I thought I placed these to be able to cover all the way. Cut trees. So we actually can't reach here. Just mark a few more trees. Okay. So we get 25 logs a day, essentially. So we should be able to finish the water wheel today. 18 science points. I think when... Hmm. Unemployed 2. You always want a little bit of unemployment. But I guess I could just have another inventor, right? How much wood is this? 12? Yeah. Finish the water wheel, then do the inventor, then build the lodge. By the time the inventor is... the second inventor is built... 44, okay. Trees are a bit further away, I think. By the time this is built, we should have another adult beaver. Build a dam or your crops will die. I don't think we're... Oh. What is that noise? Drought incoming. Three days. So I think I think this is what kind of started to wreck us before. Uh, well, I can build a dam here. But it's 20 wood each. Blocks water but allows some to pass through a spillway at the top. I mean... Do I just block here? That's too far away. Build more paths on new districts. If I build a path over, I guess it, it, it can work, right? Do I do I just dam here? I mean, I suppose technically I'd want a dam like here, right? Everything past the dam will die, right? So if I wanted to dam it... Right here, right on the waterfall, does this work? Let's see, let's see. I've, I've not really 
And I think we do need to... Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if that's too far, but we'll find out. I think they need to build that first. So there's... Deprioritize. So yeah, finish the water wheel. Then do this. Then do that. I think once this is built, this will say that it has access. I think. It's just saying that because there's no no path to get there. So I think that that should work? Question mark. Hopefully. We are just harvesting our crops now. So we have oh, not a lot of carrots. 240 food. That's pretty good. I don't know how much How much do they eat per day? Effects when unsatisfied, the beaver will die. Sleep, no effects, okay. Shelter, effects when satisfied, life expectancy and walking speed increased. No. Carrots, effects when satisfied, life expectancy plus 30%. Wow. Grilled potatoes strength. I was gonna think <laughs> grilled potatoes should not increase life expectancy. <laughs> grilled potatoes <laughs> are not the fountain of youth. <laughs> uh, bread is carrying speed. Grilled chestnuts are strength. Cattail crackers are carrying speed. Grilled spatter dock, life expectancy. Maple pastries, carrying speed. Campfire, fertility. <laughs> Rooftop terrace, fertility. Oh, I see. Uh, beaver statue, working speed. Roof, working speed. Shrub, working speed. Labra monument, working speed. Flame of progress, walking speed. Uh, tribute to ingenuity, life expectancy. Carousel, working speed. Books, working speed. Shrine. So a lot of these things increase working speed. So basically, if you provide a lot of stuff, the beavers live longer and they work faster and they walk faster. So that that's pretty good. Oh, this is now going. Water wheels down. So now we need a... Uh, it's time to start producing planks. Build a lumber mill and connect it to the water wheel with the power shafts. Many buildings can pass energy to one another when placed wall to wall. Okay, so, lumber mill and shafts. So, I should be able to just... Does this work if I just stick this right here? It's probably not a good idea to do that though, right? Yeah, if you use all your logs before getting to forest, you have a huge problem. I, I was concerned about that. I think we should not build anything else until we research Forester. 60 science points. We're at 40 now. I'm letting this area regrow, but you see it doesn't quite regrow like a forest. Uh, we need to get this done first. It's a long walk. This is only 12. The drought is in 2.5 days. No, I, th I think I should focus on the dam first. Right? Then I should get the science points for Forester. Shift the tree cutting area. To that patch there. Okay. Yeah, because I think getting down to that or something will be too expensive. Oh, we've almost harvested all the blueberries.
we have 87 carrots. I think they're prioritizing eating carrots. We need planks to build a forester anyway. Oh, I see why the tutorial hasn't told us to do that. So we will need planks for the forester. Oh yeah, it shows the cost there. Seven blanks. So we will need the lumber mill, but also straight power shaft. So if I if I just wanna like I could go out a little bit. T power shaft intersection. So what I can do is I can just have straight power shaft, then for future planning. I can just put a plus intersection. And then I have the lumber mill here. Does this work? If I place it like this, does this work? I think this works. And then it allows, yeah. So technically I didn't need to extend it out, but it's fine. But do I want it closer to the wood? I think it's fine. Buildings carry power if next to each other? Okay. Too much power rod to connect it? Yeah, maybe it's not worth it. Just do this. We're gonna have that. Okay. And this allows power to go out in other directions if need be. Okay. Nice. Are these... Oh, they're both down? Wait, no. It's not down. I thought they were down. I was selecting a construction site, so it was the ghost. No. Um, I don't know if we can build these two in time. 20 wood? Uh, I think we need to just quickly get some wood down now. Let's mark these so we get wood much quicker. Forty-five science points, okay. Um, I guess we're not... Uh, this is 15 wood, 1, 4, so that's 20 wood to get this set up. Yeah, we need the dam to go down, otherwise we will lose our carrots, which we might... I think we can survive this drought with the food we have now. I think we're actually gonna be fine. But, you know, just in case... I want to get this going. It's fine. 11. Okay. Let's just focus on the dam. Yeah, this, this should speed up the lumber acquiring. Is it one tree... One tree provides two logs, I see. So, this is 40 logs. That's 20 trees. Building just a tiny bit. Ah. I'm building two tiles in a dam, and it's 20 trees. We got one down. Yeah, this now has access. Okay. Amount of logs changes based on type of trees. So birches have one. Pines have two. 
Are there other kinds? So we've actually got the good ones. Oh, okay. Okay. So 1.1 days. I don't know if we can get this dam built in time. So we need basically another 10 trees marked. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Wait, we have... We have 15 logs in storage right now. We just need it delivered. I don't know if... Um, pausing these structures... No one works there. Allows more wood to be carried? Question mark? Let's unmark these. Okay. It's not that we don't have the wood. It's just such a long way to be carried. Uh, 0 0.9 days. I... Uh... Can only two deliver at a time? Oh, that can't reach there, I see. Yeah. Assign more builders in the district hall. Oh. There, workers. I was confused because this said workers, not builders. But I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that they're not just builders, they also do other things, right? Okay, so since there's unemployed, we can just resume that. Okay, 0 0.7 days and we're 6 out of 20 on the dam. I don't, I don't think we're gonna do it in time. Ah. I mean, we're carrying as many as we can. We can't have more workers here. Uh, well, we might lose this carrot harvest. Uh, 0 0.6 days, 13. 0 0.5 days, 14. 15, 16, 17. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. 18, 19, 20. <laughs> we built it. I mean, it doesn't look like a dam to me, but... Blocks water, but allows some to pass through a spillway at the top. Other buildings can be built on top of it. Okay. I guess that's... That's correct. Have I done it correctly? <laughs> uh, building the giant wheel was a mistake. Well, it's the correct move if there was no drought coming. Yes, I think, I think that's correct. Hopefully. Okay, so now we can get all this going down. Adults 12. Children 2. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need another lodge to keep population growing. If that's something I want to keep going. Should I just have more carrot fields here?
potatoes. Wheat, cattail, spattered dock. So I could plant potatoes, but I'll need to grill potatoes. You can't just eat raw potatoes, right? Okay, just a little bit. Oh, the inventor is actually almost good to go. Oh, we're just out of wood, right? Okay, cut trees, mark tree cutting area. We just have to get a few more going. Hey, drought started. So the water should start doing something. Oh, there it is. Drought started. So our little thing is protected. Because this, this is, is this the only water source here? Is this coming from somewhere? Well, oh, that just dead ends there. So you can see that start to dry up. Okay, which means this side down here, this should start to dry up. Oh, this flows out, I see. Okay, so I think we have protected ourselves. It's drying out and will die in 10.5 days. So if a drought lasts for 10 or 12 days, the trees just straight up die? Oh, it flows from the edge. No, no, it's flowing out to the edge. See the flow of water? Another source of water up north. This dried here. Yeah. Plants, trees, crops. Ah, okay. Well, we've got our little plateau nice and hydrated. Those are now down. Second inventor is going. We've uh, a couple. A kugoth has grown up. Nice. So we've got two inventors going. Uh, under wood, we can now unlock Forester. Then we can uh, pop a forester like right here, and then we can start reforesting this area. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe up there. No, no, maybe down here. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. So we've unlocked the forester. Tons of science points still going. So now we just need to get this lumber mill going. Still cutting down trees. Okay, 10, 15. So building's going faster now with the extra builders. Yeah, do the beavers have individual stats? Yes. So these are the basic needs, where they'll basically die uh, without the first three. I actually... I guess they can't run out of sleep, they just pass out. So they'll die if they run out of the first two. Uh, they get much happier with shelter and stuff. Is this... okay, almost. Everyone's just having a drink before going to bed. Yeah, these lodges are going to start. Yeah, they're getting a bit crowded again.
Okay, lumber mill tomorrow. So the drought forecast is to last another two days. to cut down a tree oh there's no more trees to cut down uh cut down a couple more trees just being careful with our tree cutting we shot one log Need to mark a couple more trees yeah i think so we can get the lodge built Okay. Oh, lumber mills now built. We need a stable source of logs. Unlock the forester and build in a place where you want to plant trees. Okay, so now wood. Forester. I'll place it right here. That should be... Maybe I should... Hmm. No, no, I'll do... I'll put this here. Build the forester right there. So... Building needs power to operate, connected to a power generator. Oh, because it's a drought, the water wheel's not turning. This is stagnant water. Right, there's no, you see there's no flowing animation, because it's just dammed in. Uh, right, so we have to wait for the drought to end. And then we can get this lumber mill going. Okay, understood. Okay. It's a lake pretty much. Yeah, th this, this is just a lake. It's not a river. Oh, we actually ate all the carrots. Oh, but we're harvesting new carrots now. Great. I feel like we should plant more carrots. Another row or something there. Fill up the back here. Yeah. Because it seems like they do have enough time waiting for the carrots to grow. We're getting so much science points now. So the drought's another... Uh, I guess we can finish this lodge. Just need to cut down like a couple more trees. Then we can finish that lodge. Then, wait, we need how many? Ten logs there, so that's another five trees. Okay, that, that should get us the logs we need. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Prioritize planting carrots over gathering in the farmhouse. Is that better? I mean, they plant once they finish harvesting, right? Which is fine. That's actually a very interesting efficiency question. If they harvest, then immediately replant. Is that better than harvesting all, then replanting all? I suppose it depends on their behavior. If I switch this to planting, do they harvest, then plant on the same tile? Or do they have to harvest, return to the the farmhouse then go back out and plant then go back to the farmhouse and then go to harvest or do they harvest plant go back harvest plant go back harvest plant go back because if they do harvest plant go back prioritizing planting makes a lot more sense 
Depends on the size of the field. <laughs> Which is more efficient, planting or harvesting? Depends on the size of the field. Um, so essentially, at my level of skill with this game, <laughs> we can't plant berry bushes like for blueberries. Um, I don't think we can plant berry bushes. The berry bushes do just grow back, though. We'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see if that changes anything. Okay, so we need to get this forester going. Um, so there's seven logs in here. So we can start producing planks once there is power, which is in... Oh! Drought is ending. Great. So tomorrow we can produce planks. This lodge is down, so people aren't so crowded. Beavers have a bit of room. Forester. Okay. Let's get to tomorrow. The drought is ending now, so the water wheel will resume action. Res resume... Resume action? Question mark? Drought ended. I saw the sign. Drought ended. This is now moving. Oh, does damming actually... S oh, no, no. It's, it's going. It's going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, was, I was worried for a bit. There we go. Water wheels going. It just took a bit of time. Now we're producing planks. So planks can then go into here. Oh, we were quickly running out of trees there. Um, the logs are in. We just need the seven planks. So it's one log to one plank. Okay, there's seven logs in there right now. Uh, so does this produce planks to... Oh, wait. we got to watch these beavers. So let's see. Harvest... Does it plant immediately after harvesting? Mm, well, it takes a long time to pull carrots out of the ground, huh? No, so they have to walk back. So then that will walk back and plant, right? Okay. Now, after planting, it does not have to go back. Okay, hold on. I gotta process that math in my head. So, if it's prioritizing harvesting, it just goes harvest, return, harvest, return, harvest, return. If it's prioritizing planting, it's... Harvest, return, plant, harvest, return, plant, harvest, return. Harvest, return, plant, harvest, return. Okay. Harvest, return, plant, harvest, return. Harvest, return, plant, harvest, return. Harvest, return, harvest, return. So, harvest, return, plant. Then, when the planting phase is then just plant, 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 plant. But then again, harvest, return, plant spreads out the maturing of the crops so that the whole field doesn't just become carrots in one go. So, harvest, return, plant, and then harvest, return, plant, will mean the carrots ripen at a more staggered pace, which means this is more efficient. Okay. I worked it out. This is more efficient. <laughs> Uh, 
it creates more continuous work. Yes, it's like alternating crops in Emperor. It's just the planting and harvesting season is more spread out. So there's less idle time for the workers. So it's not like plant everything and then they sit still for a long time. And we actually got some planks. Nice. Network power supply demand. So power supply is 130 plus. Demand right now is 50. So we can support another building or two. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to chop down any more trees until this forester is done. Yeah, so th this, yes, set your farmhouse to prioritize planting. It works better. Just need to work that out in your head sometimes, you know? You can already mark the planting zone. Oh, yes, I can. Plant. Oh, wait, there's, there's four types of trees. Eight. Okay. More math. Pine is the best to start. So birch is grows in nine days, produces one log. Pine grows in 12 days, produces two logs, and also has pine resin. Maple grows in 30 days and it's eight logs. So this is less than three times longer. It's like 2.5 times longer, but you get four times the logs and there is maple syrup. Chestnut goes 24 days or logs, but has chestnuts. Pine does seem best to start. However, you definitely want maple going as well. So I'm going to put pine on the low ground. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm going to mark maple. Like I want to patch a maple. Like there. Does that make sense? The maple can be further away because it'll be more worth it. It'll be eight logs instead of two. I think this makes sense. Oh, the forest is down. Oh, there he goes. Oh, chestnut trees as well. Yes, so we can actually have some chestnuts. So let's go to chestnut tree. Just have a chestnut patch right there. Okay. Oh, you can now plant trees, yes. Uh, trees need to be watered in order to grow. Remember to mark them for cutting, okay. So, continue. Your settlement is now self-sufficient as long as the water keeps flowing. Consider building a dam or placing more water tanks to help your beavers survive the drought. The tutorial showed you the basics, but there is much more you can discover on your own. Good luck. Close the tutorial. Okay, so what I want to do is have cut trees, mark tree cutting area. So this will be like a permanent... Cut these trees... As they grow. Right? I'll leave this patch here so they'll become resin, essentially. So this will be our source of wood. That'll be our source of chestnuts, I guess. How do you harvest chestnuts? The gatherer? Look at this gatherer. It's got nothing to gather. Just sat there. Yeah, planting more efficient trees takes longer. Yeah, it takes longer, but it, it's totally worth it, right? Pine is 12 days for 2 wood. Maple is 30 days for 8 wood. It's 2.5 times longer, but for 4 times the wood. Definitely worth it. 
maple, best tree. <laughs> as far as I can tell. Oh, you can plant blueberries. The forester plants blueberries, I think. Yeah, forester plants blueberries. Um, I guess it would make sense if I just have blueberries, like, a patch right there. Then gathering that will just boost the amount of berries we have. Okay, good. Oh, well, look at our little town. Now, now I feel like we're doing something proper. Now the warehouse, this one's full. Oh, it is getting pretty full. We have so much science points. What what can we do? Um, let's go to not landscaping. Paths and structures. Let's unlock wooden. Ooh, district gates. Ooh, fancy. Build more district centers. Uh, let's unlock wooden stairs. Can I do this and then build another? We platforms cost a hundred. Okay. Um, No, I can't just build it there and have a staircase. Um, can I build it facing the other way and just have a staircase right into its entrance? Does that work? Like, if I do that and then I go to staircase, does that just work? That will work? Oh, perfect! Yes! That's exactly what I want to happen. Nice. Okay. So, we should be safe from any major disaster at this point. Ah, oh, I think we, we need like another forester. I want so many trees. Right? I think we need to build another forester. Uh, wood, forester. I just have one down here, I guess. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, so we'll probably need a few more planks. That's it to cut trees, mark trees for cutting. Those in range, those are not in range. Uh, I can cut those two trees, I guess. These three trees. This needs 10 wood. Okay, there's a few more trees to cut down. Okay. Yeah, another forester, for sure. There's just so... Look at that. We're oh, we're planting maples. Yes. Oh. Can we not... plant because these stumps are in the way? Right. How do you clear stumps? Extending the road. Oh, maybe it's the road that's limiting it. Good point. Hmm. Oh, they are going to plant there? Okay. Remove resources button. Oh, I see. But can they just plant where the stump is? Oh, yes, they can, they can. Okay. It's just this happens to be close oh yeah, yeah it's going in a circle you can see that makes sense can't get all the required materials oh right all our oh this requires planks as well right i see so the planks have gone here 
into the wooden stairs. And the logs are going into the small warehouse. That makes sense, yes. Because the capacity's full. Ah, that's, that's correct, yeah. Now we'll finish the, the warehouse first. Okay. Oh, all these maples are gonna be so much wood. Eight wood per tree. Nice. The warehouse is done before the staircase. Efficiency. Now that now we can build up. We have 16 adults. Huh. just don't have enough wood. Yeah, there's no point chopping down more trees right now until we can get another forester down to get all these trees planted. But you can path over stumps, really? So you can. Okay, um... Oh right, this is not connected by paths. So this... It's not the most efficient. Let's do that. Okay. Now we've got a stacked storage. This forester should come down next. And then we can really get these trees going. That's so much. You just want to forest the entire world at this point. It's like more. Just more. Can't have too much. Right. Can you... Is it even possible to have too much wood in this game? I don't think so. I think that's, that's the resource that you just want everything. The, the main limiting factor is water. Yeah, on this terrace, uh, you could do some interesting things. Like, you could redirect the water to flow like this way and then water fall down onto here or something. Like, how... There must be ways to... Like, make this barren area fertile. Are there aqueducts in this game? If there are not aqueducts... In the latest patch, they added water pumps. Ah, yes, they added water pumps. So that should help flow water, uh, push water around. Are there aqueducts? We have no more trees to chop down, I see. Um, yes, that's a problem. Just cut these trees down. It's fine. Cut those trees down. Yep, it's it's fine. We don't have wood. Okay, so now you see the, the carrots. They're maturing and then being harvested. Yeah, you can make dynamites with canals. There's water towers, uh, like, but I mean aqueducts means you don't terraform the land, you build like a wooden platform and then you can send like water from here straight over into here and then create a lake there. Because that would be cool. Yeah, the water pumps can make canals, yeah, so you, oh, kind of, hmm. Wait, hold on. So you can build dams and stuff. So you can essentially build... What do we have here? So... You can build... No, no, no. You can build levees. If you build levees... There... 
suspension bridges. Can you flow water across a bridge? Uh, you could you could sort of build use platforms as a kind of scaffolding and then you place levees as artificial terrain and then flow the water along that yeah levees are just boxes to stop water so if you place like one there and then two up the side and then have that be like an aqueduct can you then flow water down it and then have that suspended using platforms. So there are aqueducts in the game. Yeah, you just have to build it block by block. <laughs> yeah, you can just build your own aqueduct. Sure, go, go for it. Oh, look at these trees. Amazing. Okay, so these are coming through. Nice. Uh, we would want to store a bit more water, I think, but yeah, we, we really need to just get this forester going. These seedlings are now approaching 30%. Yeah, these maples will go much slower. This will definitely get the rest of the foresting going. Then we can get some chestnuts as well. Yes. Food supply still looks good. A lot of the berries regroup. You can't build levees on platforms? Ah! <laughs> but levees all the way down works. Right. So you could build an aqueduct with just stacked levees. It'll be very expensive. But quite cool if you sort of <laughs> get it working. No reason to not mark all of your trees for cutting. They'll grow back with the forester. Well, just in case I want like... Oh, we need resin right now or something. It's just there. Huge waste of resources. Well, I mean like... I've marked that. Those are chestnuts. Um, I just wa didn't want to accidentally deforest everything. Uh, before the foresters were going, and I'm now just keeping things organized. Uh, this one is, uh, th this map is... Terraces. That's what it's called. Okay, enough logs. Now we just need a few more logs to turn into planks, and then we can get the second forester going. We get chestnuts. We got a grill em. How do we grill things? Aquatic farmhouse. Hmm. Grill. We just have to build one. Oh, we could get chestnuts and grill em. Perfect Christmas snack. Yes, we can. Gr oh, we can grill chestnut. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we should unlock a decoration. Roof tiles, scarecrow, unique to this faction. Beaver statue. Let's unlock the shrub. It costs twelve wood to build a shrub. <laughs> Like, scattering shrubs around. Maybe at least the houses. I suppose you want, sh like, decorations around places of work, right? But 12 wood per shrub. Right now, that, that's a bit pricey. Once my artificial forest has grown up, then I'll be like, okay, now we've got plenty of wood. So now just processing the planks. 
Uh, four out of seven. That's five. Why is it taking so long to move the logs into the lumber mill? Six. Okay, and that's the last plank to complete the forester. Right? Yeah, there we go. Building is full. Yeah. Okay, we have a second one. Yeah, plenty of food. Now, build that. So now we have another forester, and there we go. Now we got our forest going. That should, yeah, that should keep things going. Perfect, perfect. Um, how long until these grow up? They're only halfway grown. Now we're kind of out of trees now. Well, I mean, in terms of what's in range of here, we can't quite reach those, but it's fine. We have 15 wood there. So what is it that we can build next? Population 16, 19 beavers, okay. Grist mill, bakery. Beehive. Oh, it has bees. Wood. Metal. Scavenger flag. Smelter. You know what? I think I actually want to build a shrub. What's the most efficient place to build a shrub? Because when you look at them... Um... They have their shrub stat, which increases their working speed by 5%. House rooftops. Oh, that's a clever idea. House rooftops. Yes, I see. That looks cool as well. Put one there, and then we can. We just need. We need a staircase up, like that. We can start going vertical. These planks are going to take a while, then. We, ju we, we just need the trees to grow now. All this on our little terrace there. Look at that. Wait, the shrub doesn't need to be built. It's just placed. Does it? Oh. Forbid berries at one warehouse, they take too much space. Oh, we do have a lot of berries. Is it because we've been eating carrots so the berries aren't being eaten anymore? I guess so. We're just stockpiling berries. Oh, beavers can build one level up or down without stairs. Right, of course, yeah. The beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score. Six. Shrub. They all passed the shrub. They looked up at it and it's like, shrub. And they all just got happier. 
Uh, so we need to get to 11. So each one of these counts as one, right? Where's campfire? Uh, leisure? Campfire? Ooh, pop the campfire back there behind the houses. That looks nice. Let's get the beavers happy. <laughs> uh, pass. Yeah, we'll have the path. What am I doing? What do I click on? That's not right. You can build path. What? You can place pads on top of buildings. Okay, so this is going to cost 15 logs. So we'll have stairs going up onto the roof anyway. Because then we can place things there. And then I can do like more decorations. Roof. How do roofs work? One by one, one by two, two by two. Like what other things? Oh, we're planting the chestnuts, but that's going to take a while. What else can we give them? Rooftop terrace. What counts as a rooftop terrace? Oh, so as long as they have some exposure to the shrub, they remain happy. Books, shrines, temples. Observatories. Perfect place to relax by the river. Shrine. Yeah, we could get a shrine. Oh, this is the rooftop terrace. Oh, I see it has to... Oh. Oh, okay. I see, I see, okay. All right, so I think what that means is I have to go to, uh, not landscaping, I have to unlock the platform. So then I can build platforms around here. How big is the rooftop terrace? Okay, so it just needs to be... So we go to, uh, huh. These costs two wood, four planks. Okay, so I'm gonna... Platforms can go in the middle area too. Oh, you can walk under them. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so what I could do is I could do leisure, rooftop terrace, like here. But first, I'm gonna prioritize this campfire. So then I'm gonna put rooftop terrace like here. And then I can do the platform right there. And that looks cool, right? This Ah, oh, this is nice. Because I, I like seeing that, that entrance way right at the end there. You have to connect it via path. So that's when you start putting paths on rooftops like that, right? I love the vertical building in this game. It's so cool. It's so cool, right? Like, it's just, it's it's the best thing about this game. You can just, the, the vertical construction. Okay, so now we are just waiting on 
Why do trees grow so slowly? We don't have any more trees to cut down. Yeah, there's no grown trees in range right now. Well, there's one. So we're just kind of waiting for trees to grow up. Even the earliest trees planted are just reaching 60%. So I just... Maybe I should just go kill all that. I'm a jack flag. Sure. <laughs> Let's kill everything. Kill that. Let's let's build stuff. I want my campfire. Ah, if I put a path around here, we could actually speed things up a bit. Like that. Okay. Campfire. Yes. They're just sitting around an unlit campfire during the day. <laughs> I think they're the kids. Yeah, the, it was the three kids. There we go. Campfire down. Ah, oh, look at that. Campfire need being filled. Five can sit in each one? Yeah, five slots. Scrub, campfire, we provide 12. Only 15 have seen the shrub today. There we go. Now everyone's seen the shrub. It's right by the exit. So they all have to pass the shrub at the beginning of the day. Pause the lumber workers are idling. Oh, we've got two unemployed. It's fine. I just need all... I, I need my artificial forest to grow. Oh, we've actually finished planting everything. I see why you don't really need two foresters. What Once everything's planted... <gasps> we have our rooftop terrace. Look at this thing. Oh, I want this. Ayagi, age six, sitting on the rooftop terrace. I'm kind of, I'm kind of chilling. <laughs> it's so relaxing. And now there's a reason for them to all hang out up here on the rooftop. Seven. Your beavers are happier than ever. New well-being high score. Who's missing the shrubs? Who's forgetting the sight of the shrub? And you all have to pass it. Right? Maybe having a second shrub at another important intersection. Like here. Is that the best place to put it? Or should it be like... No, this this should cover m most people, right? Yeah. Do we have some homeless? No, no, we don't have any homeless. It's okay. All right. So, speaking of, we should probably build another house.
Yeah, so we can have another house here. Then we go another platform there. Then we can have Yeah, we've got 19 adults. Yeah, th these are getting pretty full. Let's build another house. Mirrored. Here. Path can just connect up to that. Is this another drought? Yeah, drought incoming three days. We should be fine. Look at this. <laughs> Who does not want to be here right now? Okay, we, we just don't we, don't... we don't have wood. A couple straggler trees grew up, but... We just need these pine seedlings to grow up. then these two will reactivate, essentially. Oh, did I not? Wipe them out. Okay. I should get a couple things going. Happiness 7 is pretty good. Look at this complex I'm building. Time for grilled potatoes. Well, I'm... I was planning to grill the chestnuts, but... <laughs> trees grow so slowly! Ah. Oh. You need the forester going as soon as possible. that marked cutting oh it's not there mark this all for cutting okay this shrub is now down which means our shrub coverage how is it still so low on people passing the shrubs Rooftop terrace, campfire. Oh, it's not. We're only catering to like half our population with each of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like we're struggling to, to get to eight. How good is the new update? I mean, since the last time I played, this is feeling, like, even better. Like, it, it, it feels very solid, actually. Okay, the trees are finally maturing. Ninety-six percent. I think today they're gonna grow up. And then the rest of this is going to grow. Yeah, you don't really need two foresters. Unless I suppose you're doing some... Ah, oh, there we go. Trees, finally. So now we have this. This is now built, uh, being built. Okay, good. So now with all the wood coming in, I can actually look at what do we need? Or rather, what can we get? Right, I wanted a shrine! Uh, is it under leisure? Shrine. Yes. Let's build... Did you just put it anywhere?
papa shrine next to the campfire. I have a shrine by this main road. 20 logs each, but that's fine. These trees are now maturing. I mean, these maples should be... Oh, they're so... They take so long. 38%? Need food and water? Food's doing okay. I mean, we have one entire warehouse filled with berries. <laughs> uh, carrots... It's maintaining. I, I love how, how this... complex is turning out. Okay, new drought started. That's going to last three days. Music change. Do I need this here anymore? No, let's destroy this building. Because otherwise that's chopping a tree and then bringing it back up there. Then it's yeah, okay, that's inefficient. Okay, so if I wanted to, like, build even higher, like, for example, I could do a yeah, platform. Hold on, I'm just... You can build platforms on top of platforms. So I can do, for example, platform. Staircase, platform, platform. Then I can throw down another house here. Just because it looks cool. <laughs> Third floor. Okay, yes, yes. Ah. <laughs> oh, I love this. They make multi-story platforms too. Oh, right. Yeah, there's double platforms, triple platforms, metal platforms, then it's bridges. 6 times 1. Allows beavers to pass over gaps. Ah, see, now now my random placement of houses on the ground floor is really paying off. It's adding that level of dimension. Is there a height or width limit in this game? Could you make huge ziggurat houses? We could probably find out. Uh, if I just place this somewhere where... Let's go to another... Yeah, just... But that's the limit. So that's that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, just to find out whether that's the height limit of the world or from the ground. That's the height limit of the world. So there is a height limit. But it's pretty high. It's pretty high. <laughs> well, there must be a quicker way to delete buildings. Yeah. It's pretty high.
I mean, if you're making things look interesting and nice like this as well. Oh, I could make this look even nicer. Decoration. We can have a shrub. You're right there. Then you got shrub access. As you're doing leisure stuff. Yeah, okay. Good. Well, we're using up our trees immediately. <laughs> oh, I, I love I, oh. vertical buildings with these terraces. Like this map is terrace. I love building like terrace, right? It's just something I've always liked. There, just need... Tree to grow, tree to die. Copernicus, thank you so much. Is this just full of berries? Yeah. So many berries. Yeah, it does look like if there's always a ripe carrot, then we need another farmhouse. It's like some of these earlier plantings. This is like 60% here. So if they can finish harvesting everything before this grows, then we actually have enough farmers. Your beavers are happier than ever. Uh, enough got into the campfire and the rooftop terrace. Everyone has shrub access now. Ah, uh, uh, yes, some are getting shrine access. The shrine here. Ooh, nice noise. Okay, shrine access. Oh, it's, it's the little beaver shrine thing. Mazil Cree. We have 24 population. Okay, trees growing, trees dying. Oh, I'm so happy that we didn't just die. <laughs> we actually survived. And then the, the drought should be ending here. Building max power? Oh right, because it's a drought we can't produce planks, right? I forgot. Second shrine down. So that should be getting lots of shrine access. We might be able to hit nine happiness. Oh, some. We are actually running out of carrots. I think, yeah, we build another farmhouse. I build it here. Then just plant more carrots. Oh yeah, they go and plant all that first, right? Okay. Then we can do potatoes. These chestnuts still taking a while to grow. Oh yeah, we built the, the lodge, but the staircase, not quite ready. 
Because we don't have planks, because we can't produce planks. Oh, the drought is over. So now we can produce planks. Yes. Almost everyone has shrine access now. Like, if everyone can get perfect coverage of what we have, we can actually get to nine average happiness. It's just not enough I'm making it into the campfire, I think. Might need a second campfire. Four hundred horsepower. Fifty horsepower. Mud bath mechanically infused with bubbles. Thousand eight hundred G's. Perfect place to relax by a river. Forty wood, thirty planks. Ugh. Maybe I just build a second campfire. <laughs> right? That that seems reasonable let's just have another campfire up on this hill yeah prioritize the campfire <laughs> i mean happiness ratings is kind of the main objective right now slow down with population you have a decent amount of unemployed so we do. Well, two will be taken by the farmhouse. I guess you could just start spamming inventors, but right now, the, the yeah, we, we're just limited by wood. It's like some of these... Yeah, we can... Mark like half the maples for cutting. Because you want to leave some alive, because then they might be resin carrying trees, which you then use later. Oh, stairs down. Okay. Lower platforms down. Upper platforms coming in soon. We're just so close to nine. I don't know why there's five. Oh, the children can't use shrines? The five children aren't using shrines, so that's actually holding back our happiness rating. I think. Because it's specifically five with no shrine access. The tree's slowly growing. A decent amount of ones maturing now. It's like a little ant farm. I'll just rush out and you see them doing their thing. But as long as no one's starving, I think we're doing okay. Yeah, this second farmhouse should help boost our carrot production. Second campfire is down. Maybe that will get us... 24 out of 26? I don't know, children can use shrines. Godless heathens. No, no, no. They can use the shrines. I like the shrine noise. Hmm. Now, I don't know if a second campfire is actually going to help. How's our shrub coverage? Perfect. Yeah, we just need to scatter some shrubs around. So now we have two campfires. So there's plenty of space for everyone. Rooftop terrace... Does it seat more? It seats six. Oh yeah, rooftop terrace seats one more. 
Uh, I don't think we can quite reach nine happiness. That's, uh, I mean, we'd have to have full on all of these. And we're even short one carrot. We're actually out of carrots. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway. I think, I think this is, this, this has been great. I need to take a break. Oh, oh, oh. Timberborn. It's a good game. By the way, we were sponsored today to check out Timber, recheck out Timberborn. Uh, we have played Timberborn before without being sponsored. We've enjoyed it. You've enjoyed it. It's in early access now and it just got its first major update with water pumps and all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, they, they sponsored us saying, hey, a new update's out. It's on sale, 20% off on Steam. We wanted to, to sort of promote that. And I was like, yeah, it's Timberborn. We, we've had fun with Timberborn. People like it. Just look at the reviews. And yeah, it, it does actually feel like a lot more solid than the last time I played. And... I mean, it feels pretty, like, like, it's a solid experience. I mean, like, it's going through early access, but it, it's, it's, it's pretty much good to go now. Uh, hope you like the tale. The UI has improved so much. Yeah, that, like, I can't remember exactly what's changed and what's not changed, but the UI feels really good. Like, when you just click on something and it just, it's just clear, like, what's happening, what's going on. And I'm not sure what's new, what's old, but the UI feels overall more clear, right? It just feels nice. Uh, and yeah, the, the devs have always been sort of, you know, nice to us and sharing the game code back in the day um, for the earlier demos and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I, I think if you haven't, like, if you've been waiting to jump into Timberborn because it felt unfinished, it actually feels like so far in the it, two hours that we've we've solidly played today, it is, it feels like, like, yeah, this is, there, there are abandoned games, there, there are finished games which are not, they, they don't feel this finished, so it's like, it, it's good to jump in now, I think. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much to the developers for sponsoring this video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this look into Timberborn without me dying because I think the tutorial was actually better. I, I, the I think the tutorial has been improved somewhere. Hmm. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more stuff on the channel, click the buttons on screen right now. For so much more content. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>